De Do de Jeune, aka Lake of the Dead, was released in 1958. It's directed by Kerr Bergstrom and, and written by Andre Burke. It is a Norwegian horror film, and from what I've read, it's considered to be a classic and almost the first big Norwegian horror film. And I, I always love getting into films that are made outside of my country or made by different cultures. Um, if you've been watching my channel, you know I've really I've reviewed a lot of Italian and German horror films. Um, but I've only seen a handful of Norwegian horror films. And of course, I wanted to try to find a classic. And I think De Dore Schoen is very much a classic. I thoroughly enjoyed watching it. Now, full disclosure, the version that I was able to find, because this movie is extremely difficult to find to watch on the internet, um, you can find it in its native language. And of course, my Norwegian is non-existent. I've been trying to learn it because I want to be able to speak some of it or understand some of it the next time I visit Oslo. But it's still a very, it's still a process. Um, but luckily, I was able to find a version on YouTube that included Spanish subtitles. And my Spanish, I don't speak great Spanish but I can read Spanish fairly well. So the subtitles were able to help me, you know, kind of get the gist of what the characters were talking about. Um, it also it helped me to just focus on the movie. Like I, it was one of those times where I just absolutely shut off my phone so that way I could focus on the body language of the actors, what the camera was showing, and uh, the limited dialogue that I could actually read. Um, but the, the plot of the film is about these six friends who are going away to this cabin by a lake and it's sort of in the middle of nowhere so you've got the makings of my favorite kind of horror which is isolation horror and they start talking about the the legend behind this lake that apparently this guy was infatuated with his sister which it's implied certain things which if that is correct then ew um, it's implied that this guy long ago was infatuated with his sister and when his sister eventually got married he got very jealous and ended up killing both of them and drowning them in the lake. And his ghost apparently still lurks around the lake. And when they get there, the guy that now owns the cabin is a friend of theirs and they can't find him anywhere. And eventually they discover the body of his dog and a hunting rifle but they don't find his body so they don't know if he has had some sort of accident or if he has become victim of the lake itself they eventually find his journal and they're able to discern what his last couple of days were like before he disappeared apparently seeing apparitions and visions by the lake and him and his dog being increasingly freaked out by sounds during the night and not getting any sleep at all um, so most of the film is them trying to figure out is the mystery behind the lake true? What happened to their friend? And trying to keep each other safe because this lake seems to have some sort of power where people and some, people around it want to sleepwalk and go into go, and go dive into it. Um, and of course, that happens to several of our characters throughout the film. It's a credit to the director and the actors that when, even when I can't understand what they're saying, I can get the feeling of what they're saying. It's like, okay, so this is the character that, based off their body language, I can, I can definitely tell this is the character that believes in what is going on. And then you've got the other spectrum where it's the, the, the person that's like, no way, you guys are imagining all of this. Uh, because I mean, every cabin in the woods movies has has that. I mean, even even Evil Dead has that. You, you know, you got Scotty, who's like, the woods came alive and attacked you. That's that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Bergstrom does a really great job directing this film. It's, it's very creepy. What I love about it, and what reminds it reminds me of a film I really love called The Haunting. And The Haunting, you don't see anything. You hear a lot of noise, there's a lot of creepy stuff going on, and in Dodores Jern, there's a lot of that sort of thing going on too. And save for one scene, 
And I don't think this counts because they're really reading the journal of their friend uh, who has apparently seen the ghost and they are sort of s picturing it through his eyes. So I don't think that necessarily counts. But for most of the film, if not all of it, you don't technically really see anything like there's no apparitions or anything like that. It's just a lot of creepy sounds and creepy imagery. And the music is very minimalistic, too, uh, which is what I really liked about it. It's a movie that I would highly recommend. I hope that they can get a wide release of this. I would love to own this movie, to be able to see special features or uh, making of and commentaries. I love that sort of thing. Uh, you know, To get a 4K or to even a 2K restoration of this film would be really awesome. So, De Dones Shern, a.k.a. Lake of the Dead, have you seen it? What did you think of it? What's your favorite film about isolation and or your favorite Cabin in the Woods film? Comment below, let me know. My books, if you like spooky stuff, are available on ebook and paperback. All the links for that are listed below. Thanks always for watching. Bye.